Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. We're going to be attempting again to do the 100 million isk challenge as a brand new player. Uh, previously I did a challenge where I went and set out to get 100 million isk as quick as possible on a brand new character. Unfortunately I failed pretty hard because I got destroyed in Nullsec. The most often way for me personally to earn isk fast as a very very low skill point character is probably going to be expiration because expiration can have a lot of like RNG variants sometimes it can give very little sometimes it can give a lot so we're going to like focus on striking gold and getting a ton of it because you can sometimes just get from like five minutes worth of scanning 100 million isk if you're lucky and it's got so few skill requirements as well so in my opinion I think it's the best way to start out uh, getting a lot of isk the problem was that last time I did this I was exploring a null sec and I was going around looking for valuable data and relic sites. Unfortunately, I got destroyed. I got destroyed because I got destroyed on a gate. But I'm going to start with Kaldari because Kaldari is close to Jita. It's going to make it so that we can get to our uh, Jita trade hub to buy our ship quick, as quick as possible. But you may as well could use any other type of... Uh, you could use any other type of race if you feel like it. I just think Jita to, or the Kaldari race because it's close to Jita tends to be the quickest to get going. We will skip this tutorial because this tutorial does not provide us with much benefits especially when we're already knowing what we're doing but I will still explain things as if you are not too knowledgeable about this just so that you can keep you up to speed. If you are wondering about things how they work let me know in the comments down below I can answer them or someone else who knows could answer them as well. So we skipped the tutorial and what we're going to want to do is go to the career agents ASAP. The career agents uh, what provide basic missions to introduce you to activities in EVE Online, but it'll be good for us because we get an exploration ship from this. So we go on agents and missions, career agents, and go to the closest one, the one for uh, the explorer there. A set destination, let's go. So a good idea would be to just save the fit because I had a fit that I used to okay. Okay. go for exploration. We can even see this here. If we go in Zekiel board, we can look up my previous account that got destroyed. So this was my previous character that I attempted to do this challenge in and we failed. Ashata Nun Tsukaya. He died in a heron and we're going to use this same fit again. So it says 24 million, but that's not because our ship is worth 24 million. The loot we had is worth 24 million as well. So what we'll do here is just copy this fit, the fitting of the ship. External, no export I mean. And then we go into EFT. So also copy this fit from the description down below because I'll paste this into the description. So you can just copy this, get this text chunk and import it into the game. So the fitting is just like an equipment loadout for the ship. So this is the ship we're going to use. This is the equipment loadout. So I've already got it all sorted out for you. Simulate it. And the, you can obviously change this. This is not like set in stone. Like, oh, this is the only way to do things. I just think this just seems to work. There's many tweaks you can make. The most important thing is that you've got a core probe launcher to be able to like scan for special data and relic sites which can contain loot and this is then a relic analyzer and a data analyzer these are essential because these are what allow you to open these canisters that you can find at these data and relic sites so you need a data for data sites and a relic analyzer for relic sites so just this these three modules are essential but everything else could be mixed and matched and you can just experiment for yourself to learn yourself but it's not like setting so i just think that an mwd Micro warp drive is very good, you go very fast. Shield extenders provide some extra tank in case you get like, attacked for a brief amount of time on a gate. At the end of the day, most important thing is you have these three modules. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is save this explorer. Save, 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 and I'll untick this filter here because I don't need this filter that is gonna filter out our personal fittings that we've saved. It'll just filter, if we have that uh, filter there selected, it'll only show us the fittings that are say like pre-built fittings from EVE Online. Okay, we'll dock up State War Academy and do this career agent. You want to do this fast, you know? We're going to get the 100 million isk as quick as possible, so we want to do this fast. This is just like something we just need to get over with. It's not like particularly challenging anything, it's just so we can get that free exploration ship as quick as possible. Because you can see that we've got a loadout saved or a fit saved with our Heron Brigitte. You know, see this one here. I explore. You can see I saved it. This is saved. So we need to obviously buy this to be able to have it. We don't just get it because I saved it. 
So we will get one of these herons from this uh, this uh, mission agent that we'll do here. And all these modules we can also buy because we'll get some isk as well from doing these agents. Let's go for Explorer. Okay, he looks pretty um, intimidating. Okay, we'll accept. Complete mission. Nope, we can't just complete the mission like that. <laughs> because I just thought it was green, so I thought it was already exp explored. It was already completed. Okay, what we're going to have to do here is go to Proof of Discovery. So we're going to go to an Anomaly. Anomalies are the types of sites that don't require scanning. We're not going to have anything to do with these things when we're searching for ISK in the future. So we'll, we'll open this probe scanner. See here, probe scanner. This is what we're going to be using to find the data and relic sites when the time comes. Uh, I also want to just remove this because we don't need this big map. We just need this menu here. And then we're going to just go to anomaly training because this is just what the mission wants us to do. But when we're looking for these very valuable data and relic sites, it can be one of these cosmic signatures because you see they're red. They're not scanned down. Anomalies, these green ones, they or like these ones that I didn't have to scan. They're like considered to be anomalies because you don't have to scan them. We can just warp to them. But these red ones have to be scanned down for us to be able to warp to them. So these could be potentially a data and relic site. They can be anything. They could be a gas site, they could be a combat site. It's a bit random what they can be. But they can sometimes be data sites, sometimes be relic sites, and we can warp to them when we've scanned them down and get some good loot. Uh, in high sec, where we are here, the rate data and relic sites are very bad. So we do not want to do it here, we want to do them in null sec, which we'll get to in the, the future, which we'll get to soon. But in the meantime, we just want to quickly do these missions, because we get some ISK, and as I said before, we get that ship in the end, because there's five missions, and the fifth one gives us this ship. So you can see we get some ISK, basic ISK. Open up this training canister, put the afterburner on to go a bit quicker. We can also go in our Heron and look at the skills required. And we can add these to Q. So we just add all the skills required to the Q. See, it's added all the skills required to the Q. And we've actually, I used the link, you can find in the description down below to get free 1 million skill points on a new character. You can just redeem these, you get a free 1 million skill points. So you can train a lot of stuff in the beginning. I only use these for things you know you're going to use. Otherwise, usually in the beginning, I prefer uh, if you're like a brand new player it's not good to just use these because you don't usually you could perhaps use them on things that you will not have much use on if you don't know what all the skills entail so it could be good to save them until you've got maybe like I don't know three four million skill points maybe even five million skill points to be honest yeah five million skill points wait till five million skill I would say wait until you've got five million skill points and then use these skill points here. I'm, the reason I'm just using these skill points now is because for demonstration purposes, but also because I know that this will be useful. These are useful skills, but if you're a brand new player, you're not 100% sure which skills are useful, which are not, it's better to just leave them to train passively in the background, and then you can use them later. It also has to do with the alpha clones as well. They're able to train passively 5 million isk, 5 million skill points. Then after that, they have to use these daily alpha injectors or buy skill points. And, this one million can be used instead of buying skill points later. So just preferably save them. But if there's something you really know you want to get, okay, obviously use that. It's all up to you. Request mission, accept. Look, you see that? Look what we got. We got hair now. Um, oh, okay. They must have changed this mission because it actually didn't used to be uh, the case that you got hair. I think it's because they've revamped the career agents. So because it used to be that you got a Bantam, a different type of ship, and then you got a hair. Hmm, okay, I've changed it. So we've got the heron straight away. Okay, we need to go. Will we grant this location? Follow the instructions, complete. What do we need to do? Auto mission location. Okay, undock. Actually, I think we can buy something to make this speed up a bit. Okay, we're just going to buy this 5MN. Okay, it's very cheap here, 39k. Because this will make our ship be able to go a bit quicker. Fit to active ship these missions will involve you moving around a bit the, the thing is in these newbie stations that we around these kind of places they sometimes sell these 5mn micro warp drives for very expensive because they know that maybe the new players don't know better so they can go for very expensive prices so if you see them like for like on oh, 100k plus don't buy them so it's just silly you're just uh, feeding the people trying to prey off the new players but i thought that it went for 39k so it was okay it was still expensive but people just selling them here out of convenience so we've got one of these, but you don't at all need to have this. I'm just saying for doing these missions that we're going to do now, it can just go just a slightly, just a slight bit quicker if we have one of these, because it will go very fast when you're going into these missions. 
warpity warp because here they're going to I think demonstrate different types of hacking and uh, scanning equipment that you can have okay we'll X this go to this acceleration gate now we don't need to use the MWD actually I was already able to just warp through this acceleration gate straight away you know actually MWDs they make your max speed uh, bigger it actually makes it a little bit longer for you to warp because you, you have to get to 70% of your max speed. If your max speed is larger, then using an MWD can make it go actually slower. So it's not good that I activated it there. But these are just minor things that don't really make any difference whatsoever. So you can see that we've got an MWD, so we're able to just cruise to this exploration supplies, just like that. Very simple. But you could may as well could have done this without an MWD as well. It's the exact same thing. So I'll just deactivate that. I don't need that active. And see, we instantly go to 70% of our max speed, so we're going to just warp straight away. These are just small tricks you learn in the future. They're not at all important in the beginning. Okay, go towards the acceleration gate. Go towards this acceleration gate. So they're demonstrating data sites. These are data sites. Let's go to the next room. I want to just check here that we've got everything trained for this explorer. We've got still some skills here. Light drone operation. Okay, can we buy? How much is do we have? 187. Okay, if we can buy this and train. How much does it cost? Okay, buy and inject. And then we've got another acceleration gate here. Let's go for that. And then we can apply skill points. These, this drone, light drone operation is actually not necessary. You don't even need this at all. Because it's just to be able to use drones, you're not going to be using drones in this fit. I just put some drones in this fit to be able to have some combat capabilities, but it's very, very minute. So it's really basic. This mission just warped uh, the different uh, acceleration gates. Now we are pretty much done, I think. We just need to go to... I think there could be some... Uh, let's see, I'll read mission for details. Okay, yeah, we just need to move around a bit. And okay, now we just need to dock. Yeah. Don't dock before it tells you to say to dock because it's important to follow the mission objective. Sometimes missions can be a bit stubborn. It says that you are supposed to destroy all enemies in the vicinity. Then you destroy all of them, but you have to like move to a certain location or something like that. So if it doesn't say it's done, then it's usually not done. Okay, I'm just looking at my overview tabs here because you can actually make this overview a bit more compact. I like to have it compact. Make this a bit uh, bigger so we can see a lot of stuff. Also, this is nice to have compact as well. Enable compact mode. Okay, go and complete this mission. We've got some extra ISK, except this. Proof of discovery data. Okay, we have to equip the items we got here. So we can equip this to our ship. Now don't mix these with the data analyzers I had in the fit I showed you, this one here. This mission gave us civilian ones. Civilian ones are really bad. Do not go for these. Do not cheapen out by using the civilian ones. These don't, I don't even think these will work on normal data and relic sites. They just don't use anything civilian, just generally speaking in EVE Online. Civilian modules are only really made for these tutorials. Nothing else. Like a civilian gun maybe does two DPS. Well, a regular gun, maybe there's, I don't know, 40 DPS. So you can see there's like big difference between civilian and non-civilian. Civilian stuff is just demonstration purposes. Okay, so we launched these probes because we got probes equipped. We just dumped our probes from our inventory. We can dump them here or just right click and fit them. Uh, we've got the map here. We've deployed our, our probes because they're in space. And then what we want to do is put like maybe a big one just to start off. Because you see these red things? These are the ones I want to scan down. So we just need to start big and then we'll just pinpoint them as time goes on. Data training site scanned down and we've got some that are almost scanned down. We just warped to data training because that's what we want to go to. So we're going to start hacking. Hacking is sort of a mini game which is required to be done to get the loot from different rate and data and relic sites. It's not just a case of warping to them and there's oh, we'll get free loot. You have to also do this mini game. You can see here, there's a data site. So we'll just go to it. Important to be within five kilometers of this. If you do go outside five kilometers, then it'll stop the hack and it'll, you'll fail it. And if you fail two times, this will go boom and you'll lose the loot. So you won't get anything. So it's important not to fail. But if you fail once, it's okay because you can always try another time. But if you fail twice, it goes boom. We'll lock this up. I just click left and just go down like this. And I'm orbiting 500, so that's good. Uh, okay, we can go for this civilian data analyzer. And how this works is we start here, 
or wherever we start. Could be starting here, because starting here. And what we need to find is a system core. A system core is a type of, um, you could say, piece in this puzzle, which needs to be destroyed. And when the system core is destroyed, we unlock the loot. So the point here is we need to find the system core, because you can see all these dots are blacked out. So it could be anywhere. The system core could be anywhere. In my experience, the system core usually is on the opposite side of, uh, well, approximate opposite side of where you start. But we can just try finding it by clicking on these. The thing is, though, we have to be careful, because when we click on these, then there's also a risk of having antiviruses, because you can think of us as a virus. We're a virus who's trying to infiltrate this data container or relic container that's trying to hack it, you could say like that. So if we encounter an antivirus, it'll block off our path. So we'll either have to destroy it or go around it to be able to find the system core. You'll see what I mean when we get through more nodes. So we can go here, see five, and then we also have these numbers. And that means that five nodes away, there's something good or potentially good. So you can see here, this is one, two, or one, two, three, four, five. There could be something good here. There could also be something good here. Just five nodes away. So it's very, like, you know, not at all precise. It could be anywhere, really. You need three, two. Okay, so it can be one, two, one, two, one, two. So it's still pretty, it's not so clear where the good thing is. But it's, there's one away, so it could be one of these. Here, yeah, yeah, let's see. This is a system core. We didn't encounter any antiviruses as well. And when you go and destroy an anti you can destroy antiviruses and you can destroy the system core you can your virus can destroy stuff you've got your damage you've got your strength which is like your damage you do and then you've got your hp here which is the coherence so you can think about like this this has 20 damage hp 10 damage so if i click on this once you see we took 10 damage okay we took 10 damage but we also did that 10 damage to him then we click again we always get like the first advantage. So if we destroy, if if we click on something, and we destroy it. We don't take damage. So you see here, I clicked on it. I didn't take any damage. So I, now the system core is destroyed. We can open this, grab this, easy, dock up, and just do this. Just just start doing it. And I know it might seem very complicated at first, but if you just do it, it'll become a lot more straight, straightforward. It's hard to explain this and just understand it straight away. Usually, you just do it. Just get out there, do some relics and data science. Do enough of them and probably you'll be motivated when you see a lot of isk coming in. You'll eventually get the gist of it. There's also some more tips and tricks which I'll get to later. Talk to the mission agent, complete mission, request a new one. And basically we're going to have to do the same thing, but we're just doing it with a relic site. And relic sites, they're exactly the same as data sites. The only difference is the loot you get and the appearance of these objects which you hack. Otherwise the concept is exactly the same. You scan them down and you hack. Exactly the same. So there's no difference in that regard. Um, we also need to reload our probe. If you don't see any probes able to be launched, you need to reload them. Or it could be that you had them... If you are not able to find any probes, it could be you forgot them in the station. It could also be that you just forgot them out in space and logged off. They could have despawned then. Okay. So now we'll launch. And let's see, do we have any relics? Yeah, we've got one relic site over there, which we found it before. So we can just scan around here. And I'm going to use 4 AU because I'm, I already scanned it. So I can maybe go a little bit smaller. But if it doesn't work... To go smaller, always go bigger. Okay, you can see it's almost scanned now. You just click on it, and then we'll center this box on it. Center it like this. We double click to move like this. And then we just make it a bit smaller, because it'll get a stronger scan if we're smaller. But it's also going to cover a smaller area. You'll get the hang of it after you've scanned it a bunch. We can actually recall our probes and already reload them, so they're ready for next time. We recall them here, and we reload them here. Recalling takes the drone to your inventory. So go towards this training container. Activate MWD to go even quicker. Then we'll lock this up and it's already orbit of an orbit 500. See, it's just the same thing. You scan it down, go and hack it. Same concept. I'm going to go here. See, three things away, two away. There's one good thing. Okay, so this is an antivirus and this is antivirus it's the same thing as the system core, but you can see what it does. It blocks off these nodes, so we can't even go to it. So sometimes we'll be forced to have to go through these, and these will do damage to us. So eventually, if you die, if you lose all your virus coherence, you will fail the hack. And as I said before, fail two times, you're going to have completely lose all the loot. It'll just get destroyed. You won't lose your ship, though. It goes boom, but it doesn't boom your ship. <laughs> but you can see here, we'll see if we can... Uh, well, actually, maybe it's not a good idea. There we go. We can just try like this and destroy it. You see, the last hit did not take any damage. Okay, there we go. We see that we've got the system core over here. We can go here. Oh, we've only got five HP left. We could die, but the thing is, we can kill him and we get 
uh, no damage taken. Okay, so same thing, as you can see. Open up this container, take the proof of discovery that they want. It's like a training mission. You don't get proof of discoveries from normal missions, like all normal data numerics. It's just like a, like I said, there's a training center. They want to know that we've done the hack. Let's dock up real quick. Okay, we'll go on the mission, complete mission, and get some more ISK. Request mission, gate pass key. Okay, we're going to go for, we're gonna get this band time. Okay, so we're getting a band time with the last mission. They switched it around. It used to be that you get the band time first. You're able to buy band and sell band times here for 100,000 ISK. 165 anyway, in fact. So we get a gate pass key, but this is not Heron. And we have to go through this gate for exploring gas. Gas sites are also something you can explore, but they require a bit more skills to be able to do. And they're also not as, oh, they're quite lucrative, but you could say that they require a lot of time to do. It's not as like quick money as you could say the relic and data size are, but if you are in a very specific area of space with a very good gas, there's different gas types as well. Some gas is worth really little, some is worth a lot. If you're in places where there's a lot of good gas and you have a specialized ship for it with equipment, then you can earn a lot. But I would say it's less new player friendly as doing data and relic site exploration. You can see you've got this gas site over here. I'm just scan it down, same way as before. I can even scan uh, or exit that because I know that it's going to finish the scan since it's got 81%. Now uh, we can warp to gas training, recover probes, reload this. So you can see here what I mean. The, the only thing you really need is a core probe launcher and data and relic analyzer. We will have a standard relic, non civilian relic analyzer though, and data analyzer later. But uh, this is really what you need. It's just the same thing that we're doing now. Data and relic sites. Data and relic sites. But I've got other things equipped to this ship that improve our capabilities. The shield extenders, more tank. Inertial stabilizers make us a bit more maneuverable. These rigs increase also our scanning and shield capabilities. We'll do the acceleration gate. Okay, so we need to find this proof of discovery. Here, grab it, and then we'll dock up the station. So basically, we've done the career agents now. Now it's just to get to Jita, which we'll do next time, where we can equip our ship. And probably something we want to do in the meantime is just do a few of these uh, product discovery mini games because we can get some extra little side discs. So if we skip introduction, skip tutorial, because this is a very basic. Um, doesn't seem like anything is showing. I think it's glitched. Exit this. Click here. Um, Docking permission requested. Okay, now it's not glitched. Now it is working. Okay. Let's just make a big square here. I'm not sure why this is not working. Okay, it was glitched. I don't know why I wasn't showing anything. Continue. Yeah, there we go. So here is just a mini game where you want to just encapsulate boxes of different cells. So you can see there's like two clusters, one cluster here, one cluster here of cells. It's just a small mini game. This is just something you can do to get some just extra little side disc. You don't have to be super exact. You just need to just encapsulate all the cell clusters see there's a cell cluster here probably there's a cell cluster here you can it better to be bigger than more specific we failed there flawed you can oh that was also f flawed pretty difficult ones they're giving us here and there's maybe one big one perhaps yeah, okay, we passed that. So you can see we've got like 25k just like that. Some basic disc. And this one seems a bit easier. We just have two big clusters. So you can just do that for some extra little disc. We'll get in uh, some that was 75k. Like every five minutes the disc comes in from doing those. So we'll complete this and we got our band time. And we can actually sell this in the station. Uh, I think you can sell it for more isk in Jita, the trade hub, but out of convenience, it's pretty difficult to move a ship. We'll just sell it here. It's not the best uh, thing financially. You could save a bit of isk and move it to Jita and sell for a better price, but we're going to just do it just to get that isk. Okay, so we're done with the career agents. Next time we're going to equip our ship and go to Nullsec. This is a good way to get your exploration ship up and running. And you also get some basic isk from doing these missions as well. And as well gives you a rundown of exploration if you are new to it. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.